Hey guys, Chi Chi here. Welcome back. Today we are going to be testing out Parfums de Mali. I know this is very popular in the fragrance YouTube community, so I wanted to get my hands on a few of the scents. And I think I got all but two. I purchased the Feminine Discovery set. I ordered this directly from Parfums de Mali. You have seven of the most popular scents in these little vials and this was a whole experience. I also went ahead and got Delina exclusive. It was not included in this set and I really, really wanted to try this one out. So I picked this up for my, I believe, Twisted Lily. So eight out of 10 cents, we're, we're good to go. Kicking it off with Oriana. This is one of the newer fragrances from the brand. Oh my goodness, this was a love at first sniff because I just like that whole scent profile with the marshmallows and stuff like that. Speaking of which, up top we have Mandarin Bergamot Grapefruit. Heart notes are orange blossom, blackcurrant, and raspberry. And at the base we have marshmallow ambrette, chantilly cream, and musk. This is just such a creamy, sweet dream. It definitely has that bubblegummy vibe that Love Don't Be Shy has. But for some reason, I like this one a lot more. I think it's because it's not as sweet as it. It's just fun and flirty and cute, like a little bit of a wild child. It wore pretty well on me. I know some of the videos that I've seen said that it doesn't last long. I don't know what you are doing or not doing, but it lasts pretty long on me. Keep in mind that once you get a big bottle, that spray is a whole lot bigger. So then you have a lot more of the fragrance on your skin. That's all I just wanna say. But Oriana, I absolutely love, love, love. It even reminds me a little bit of Sintra. I do feel like Memo's Sintra is a little bit more green at the top, but they're all, in the same kind of vibe and family that I dig. I think it might be a little bit too much for the summer, but spring, fall, definitely love it. Even in the winter time, because you know, you get a little bit of the whiff. We had some cold days um, in the early spring. So Oriana definitely is good for cold weather. Now we have Delina La Rose. She's the last member of the Delina line. This one is more of an aquatic version of the main Delina. It was very light and airy, easy going. We have lychee, pear, bergamot essence at the top. In the heart, we have Turkish rose, which <laughs> is becoming my new favorite flower. Peony, which I always love, and transparent flowers. I wonder what that is. And then at the base is softwood, white musk, and vetiver. It is so springy and light. Whenever I wore this, I just felt really happy. I grabbed for this vial quite a bit, which is surprising out of the three Delinas. I get what Parfums de Marley did with this. This one is definitely an easy reach because you just wanna spray it on and feel like happy and youthful. I hate to say it because I'm gonna sound like everyone else, but it truly is like morning dew in a rose field. <laughs> it's just absolutely lovely. I feel like because Delina and Delina Exclusive are so hyped up, people miss out on the beauty of La Rose and she is just absolutely gorgeous and she just makes me happy. That's the only, like I literally wrote down happy. On their website it says, this is great for spring and summer days in the morning as a mood booster. And that's why I really like it because it instantly boosted my mood. You literally just perk up a little bit. So they're dead on with that description. La Rose, you definitely are a sleeper. And I, I hope people sleep on you because I want to wear her a lot <laughs> and I will. Moving on to the queen bee, which is Delina. Delina is so pretty. Every time I wore her, I felt pretty. I felt very just pink and feminine. Some people don't like this, which is understandable because of the notes. At that top, you have that rhubarb that everyone is talking about. Listen here. 
I don't know what rhubarb smells like, okay? <laughs> so I'm not gonna sit here and act like I know exactly what it is, but if it's that sharpness that I first smell when I initially spray it, okay, then that's rhubarb. I don't know what that smells like, but I do smell the lychee because I F with lychee a whole lot. I like it in my bubble tea. They also have bergamot essence at the top. Then in the middle, we have Turkish rose, peony, and vanilla. That's the part that gets you. That's what ropes you in. Then they hit you with these base notes of cashmere, musk, and vetiver. This is an all year round scent. I haven't experienced it in warm, warm weather or hot weather. But right now, the couple of days we did have a little bit of a warm weather, she smelled great. She smelled great on those cooler days that we had in Jersey. Every time I moved around, I could smell it. There's not a point in time where I went nose blind to it. There was not a point in time where I was like, are you, are you there? Are you missing in action? Never a time that that happened. It smells so delightful, so, good for the daytime. I just wanna be in a cute little sundress, just prancing along with my little mini bag that I'm now into. I don't know how we got here. I don't know how this girl became extra feminine, but alas, she is here. She has arrived. Y'all were just early to the party, okay? Mama is never late. It was floral yet crisp and, I enjoyed it. I've sprayed this all over my body going to the counter and it just smells so, smells so good, so good. I, it's just one of those crisp florals that I just heavily enjoy. And I think a lot of people, I understand why everybody enjoys Delina. Might as well round out all three Delinas. This is Delina Exclusive, baby. <laughs> Home run grand slam actually the way my protons and neutrons <laughs> were percolating in my body when i wore this i am in love with this one this one gives me a little bit more grown woman oh, sensual sexy creamy delightfulness i felt wealthy okay wealthy honey but i am still down to earth we have the pear we have the lychee we have grapefruit heart turkish rose incense and vetiver so that vetiver actually moved up and then at the base we have vanilla musk and evernil i'm telling you right now i'm getting a full bottle of this absolutely 100 percent because the way my nostrils were assaulted by this yumminess, this cream, this delightfulness, delectable, dead of summer. I probably wouldn't wear it because it is, it's not heavy, but I can see that cream. I don't wanna feel like that. I don't wanna feel like that. So this is all the other seasons, spring, winter, fall, definitely. Some people say just the evening, I disagree. I wanna smell like this during the daytime, okay? I actually wore this to work yesterday and I felt great. <laughs> I was at my desk just uh, in my little bubble of goodness, just enjoying life. I say, yep, mm -hmm. I will get that done never. <laughs> I feel like I can wear this casually and I can wear it dressed up and this lasts Forever. The funny thing about the Delina and Delina Exclusive, when I tried it at the counter, I actually liked Delina a little bit more than the Exclusive. But when I got the samples and started wearing it, I ended up liking Exclusive more than the regular Delina. But both of them I rock with. I go hard in the paint for it, but this Exclusive, This, this needs to be a schedule one controlled substance at the federal <laughs> level because wow, just damn, that's addictive. It's addictive. And my girl, Casilli, mm-hmm. Listen, 
Off top, I smell that red currant. There's Bulgarian rose in transparent white flowers at the top. Heart notes are plum accord, mimosa, absolute, plumeria, and petalia. And then at the base, we have sandalwood, tonko beans, and vanilla pod. I know a lot of people were saying that they felt peach. I think that was just a mind trick because of the color of the bottle. The color of the bottle kind of looks like my nails, but I actually did get the plum. She is light, she is creamy, she is just fruity, but then as the day wore down, you got that powdery feel to it. This is 100% spring and summer. I'm so glad that I tried this when it was a little bit warmer because when it was cool, I kind of wrote it off. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, she, she was cute. But I was just like, mm, is she really giving until I wore it on a warm day? Now my office building is cold, okay? So I really didn't smell it. I was like, okay, she's not really here. But that day it was actually warm outside. So when I went to my car to go get lunch, my, of course my car is really, really warm. And then she showed up and I was like, Like, <laughs> that's what y'all are smelling because I really couldn't get the vibe. I smell, I, I smelt it in the morning because my house still had heat on. So I smelt it then when I went to work because it's a freaking ice box in there. I didn't smell it anymore. So this, it works so well when your body is nice and warm. Because if you think you're gonna like this in cool weather, you're not. I was truly about to be like, mm, I don't see what the girls see in her. Like she was just the, you know, the geek with the glasses on that nobody paid any attention to. But then sis, you know, she got some makeup on and th put th doing some contacts and it was like, I see you girl, I, I see you. Like she was always pretty, but then she was like, are you trying to compete with Delina girl? I got your number. I, I got your number. I envision myself wearing this on a hot day. I'm going to New York. I'm going up to my friend's roof. She's gonna put a little kiddie pool out and we just sit our feet in there. We, we're on lounge chairs, just shooting the shit. I smell the grill in the backyard, just going a little bit of barbecue sauce. That's the vibe I have with Kasili and yeah, she's she's definitely on the list for me. Let's go, Meliora. Let's go. Off top, I just smelled raspberry lemonade, a huge burst of berries, and then it just started transforming into greatness. <laughs> Love this scent. So we have red berries, raspberry, lemon essence at the top. The heart is rose, ylang ylang, jasmine tea. Base notes, vanilla, musk, and cedarwood. She is a bop. From the moment I sprayed it, I was just like, wow, I love berries. <laughs> the website says, you know, just spring, summer for the days. Honestly, I think we can take this into fall as well. I would just mix it with something with a little bit of a heavier vanilla base. Because I am just now starting to navigate the niche world, this smells amazing to me, but for someone who has been in the game for a long time and now has developed, you know, spider senses, <laughs> a little spidey sense, and desire something a little bit more pizzazzy, a little more razzle dazzle, this wouldn't appeal to them. But a beginner like moi, it appeals to me because I feel like it's a nice stepping stone from designer to niche. It's a rich kind of fruitiness. It's got a little bit more depth to it. It's nothing like, um, let's see, the juicy red apple from Kayali. Nothing like that. That one, I felt it was juvenile. This type of berry, this is an adult, okay? The adults are present. As the day wore on, it became more of a skin scent for me, which I'm okay with. I don't need everybody smelling how I 
smell, okay? But for a person who's well into niche, you want something still a little bit more loud. I don't care about that. But I, I was about to smell my arm. I actually, I wanna put this one on today. It smelled good on my skin. Hallelujah. Mm. It's just, it's fresh. It's fun. It's got a little depth to her. And it's nothing too sweet about it. I like that hint of vanilla in the musk. And I'm tr trying to remember through my notes if I did get a bit of that woodiness from the cedar. I don't believe I did, but this one is just a lovely, lovely addition. I can see myself reaching for it. I'm not that girl to be putting on Delina Exclusive all the time. Sometimes you want something very simple and because it does turn into a skin scent and I still enjoy my little scent bubble, that's all a girl can ask for. I had no issues with performance with any of these, to be honest with you. Meliora, I feel like she doesn't get enough shine, but I'm here for her. Safanade is the next one. I'm gonna be real with y'all. Initial spray, really wasn't into it. I was just like, mm, not sure. As soon as it dried down, listen. Safana had me all the way gone. <laughs> this made me miss winter and fall immediately. Immediately, I was like, can we go back? It low key smells like, like hair grease. I'm gonna be honest. That's how I felt. I think that's why I was a little unsure by just spraying it on a strip. But oh man, when those other notes started popping off, they showed up and showed out. Top, we have orange pear pedigree essence. In the heart, we have ylang ylang orange blossom, jasmine sandback absolute. Then at the base, we had amber, vanilla, and sandalwood. It's comforting, it's soft, it's fluffy, just cozy. I cannot wait for fall. Cannot wait for fall because this is just cocoa, socks, leggings, little shirt, little sweater, watching the movie, maybe Devil's Wear Prada, who knows, I don't know. That cuddly, cozy, snuggly goodness. That's what that made me feel. And like, and it wasn't heavy. You know, sometimes with old winter scents, you can feel like bogged down by it. This didn't, didn't do it. It did not do that. Not once. <laughs> it lasts all day. And I just wanted to snuggle up. I needed to be cuzzled. I cuzzled. Cozy and snuggle. <laughs> exactly. We're going to be cuzzled up in here. Okay. <laughs> it was such a just warm sensation. And it, it was just a beautiful like vibe. Like this definitely can wear indoors, outdoors, morning, evening. I don't think a lot of people would love it for the morning though. Like this might be a little distracting for the morning <laughs> because all you wanna do is go to sleep. So maybe I would do this evening. Nah, I wanna be cozy all day. The day I retested this and fell head over heels in love with this one, was a cold, rainy day. I just kept looking outside of the window, seeing the rain just trickle down. <laughs> and I just wanted hot cocoa. I wanted a cup of tea. This is a perfect rainy day scent. It has to be cold weather though. It cannot be a warm, sunny day. No, it has to be cloudy. It has to be gloomy cold, just ugh. And this will instantly change your mood because that day, it, it wasn't a pretty day, but I enjoyed it. It made me enjoy the rain. It just made me appreciate it, <laughs> even though I was at work. But Safanade is just perfection. Fall? She will be added to the collection, absolutely. The final scent we have is Athalia. And I'm so upset. This smells so good. <laughs> this, 
this one definitely is not for everyone. It's not an easy reach, but she does have a time and a place for her. And I felt like this was grown woman boss vibes. This is something I would probably wear to an interview or to interview someone because I want them to know I mean business. This is not for the young girls. This ain't for you. You have to have a little bit of life experience in order to rock a folia. Like you just need to have a little bit of grit on you. You need to know some things. You gotta be like, you know what? <laughs> I peep that and I say no. At the top we have bitter orange and incense. Heart notes are orange blossom, iris, and cashmerian. And then at the base we have vanilla, musk, and amber. This is definitely fall, winter appropriate. Would not dare wear this for a spring, summer. Just imagine glasses, crisp white shirt, black leather skirt, pumps, cute little thin belt, studs. She's ready for business, okay? The fun, cute, pretty girls, ah, they're not gonna like her. She's not a trophy wife. This one, she's bringing home the bacon and someone else will cook it. Her chef will cook it. She could to survive, but no. She, 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 she has a person for that. She is someone in control. She is someone who is put together. She's misindependent. She pays her own stuff. She don't need nobody for anything. If you do come to her with a problem, she's gonna fix it. Why I love this scent so much is because it kind of reminded me of something my godmother would wear. She was big grandeur statuesque. You know, big boobs, good hair, the nails done. You know, this gives off auntie vibes. Rich auntie vibes for me. Like she, she's done some things in her life, but she's where she's at right now, running her own business. Run, she's the shot caller. And like, she's the person you come to for advice and be like, yo, like this is X, Y, and Z is happening. And she'd be like, listen, what you need to do is, th that's how you know you're about to get the truth. <laughs> what you need to do is, <laughs> it's like they don't care about what has, what's happening. No, what you need to do, <laughs> and they'll run it off and you'd be like, all right, so that's the vibe I actually get from that, and I absolutely love it. Normally, I would rank these at the end of this video. However, I can't rank these. <laughs> I ain't got it in me right now to rank them because all of them have a time and a place in my mind, in my collection. Decisions have to be made. So, gun to the head, what would I buy today? My tops, there are no bottoms in here, okay? But, <laughs> keep it classy, girl. <laughs> the tops for me, Right now, if I had to choose Delina Exclusive, Oriana, Safanad, and Delina La Rose. Yep, I said La Rose, honey. Not to say that the other ones didn't make me happy, but those four right now, if I had to choose, those are the four I'm adding to my collection immediately. Now, of course, y'all can always gift girl bottle. If Parfums the Marley, if y'all watching, add Delina Exclusive to this set. Other companies are getting your little money for this one little vial, but this is a phenomenal set. If you can get your hands on it, definitely get this set. I think they change up the scents of every year or a couple of years because I think the original one that I saw had like Darcy and Sedberry in there. We, we don't need her. We need exclusive. If they made this an eight piece set, it's it's gonna be a wrap. So hope you enjoyed this video. Check out some of my other vids and I will catch you in the next one.